This is your indie author from South Philly, Elizabeth Griffin, and I'm here to talk to you about sentences. So what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that contain a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought. An example of this would be Melissa reads. Melissa is a subject, reads is a verb, and it expresses a complete thought. If you hear the term independent clause, then they're talking about a sentence. The two are used interchangeably. A dependent clause contains a subject and a verb, but unlike a sentence, it does not express a complete thought. An example of this would be, Elizabeth is. Elizabeth is what? It doesn't tell you anything. You need to add to the clause to make it a sentence. Elizabeth is going to the store. Now it is no longer a dependent clause, but an independent clause. You may come across the term compound sentence. A compound sentence is two sentences that are joined by a conjunction. And as we learned from the previous video, a conjunction is one of the eight parts of speech. And as a refresher, I'm going to list them again for you. The eight parts of speech are noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, conjunction, interjection, and preposition. You can check out my previous video to get a full definition of those uh, parts of speech. You may also come across something called a complex sentence. A complex sentence is an independent clause and a dependent clause. And you join those two together with words like because or for. The last type of sentence is a compound complex sentence. And that's fun. A compound complex sentence has two sentences joined by a conjunction, which is and, but, nor, for. And in addition to that, you can have one or two dependent clauses. And all of that makes up a compound complex sentence. I think it is important to understand these sentences and their structure so that you can tell a wonderful story and you can weave a tale with words that will captivate your audience. Sentences fall into four categories. You can have a declarative sentence, which makes a statement. You can have an interrogative sentence, which ask a question, you can have an imperative sentence which gives a command or asks you to do something, and finally you can have an exclamatory sentence which expresses emotion and ends with an exclamation point. So those are the four categories that sentences can fall into, and as a writer I think you should know that. In conclusion, I would like to just say that I feel it's important to go back to the basics of grammar and this is just a fast brief uh, refresher but I think an understanding of grammar and the sentence structure will help you to compose a compelling story and to know that there are simple sentences and complex sentences and uh, compound sentences will help you with the pacing of your story if you want to express a lot of action you use short sentences. They are, um, they will move the story along. Uh, an example of this would be, she ran quickly down the hall, through the corridor, across the yard. And this is impromptu, but the short sentences move the, the story along fast. If you want to slow your story down, then you may use compound sentences, compound complex sentences, in addition to short sentences. I hope this has been helpful to you um, and it's been a refresher for me and uh, please support me and continue to follow me on YouTube.